Hi, my name is Henrik and I'm the Director for Program Management in the Procurement Team at IFS R&D. Welcome to this Insider video covering spend analysis within IFS Cloud. In this video, I'm going to show you the process to generate and cleanse your spend data as well as using our pre-packaged Power BI report to follow up on the spend within your organization. The ability to analyze different aspects of the spend is one of the most important elements in the strategic procurement process. In IFS Cloud, we have a fully embedded and transparent solution to collect, categorize, cleanse, and analyze the spend, including drill down possibilities from your analysis down to the actual transactions. To make full use of your analysis, you should set up a structure of categories mapping your analysis needs. This is done using the procurement category assortment definition. In this example, I have a structure where I have separated direct from indirect material and I have several levels of subcategories below the main categories. The lower levels is also where you set the rules for how spend transactions maps into the categories. This is described in a separate insider video. The next step would be to set up the conditions for your analysis and that is done in the spend analysis settings page. You define which category structure to use common analysis currency and from which companies the data should be collected. Note that the same set of spend transactions can be analyzed using different category structures and currencies. When the conditions are set, you need to run a job that compiles the spend data from the different sources and categorize each transaction based on the predefined rules. This job can also be scheduled to run on a regular basis like weekly or monthly. After the job is run, you can find raw spend data in the spend analysis list page. In this page, you can see all data related to the spend transactions as the supplier amounts, sources, references to invoices, etc. And this goes all the way down to the financial postings of the invoice. The idea with this page is not that you do the analysis in here, but you can use it to improve the data. You can manually recategorize lines or set categories on lines that was not covered by your categorization rules. You can refresh the category based on the latest defined rules or exclude abnormal lines from the data analysis. From here, you can also drill down to the details for each transaction. When the raw data is cleansed, you are ready for the analysis. To be able to twist and turn the data, the analysis should be done using a business intelligence tool. What I will show you now is an example report in Power BI based on the spend analysis tabular model and in IFS Cloud I can get the reports directly in the application. The analysis could also be done in Excel using our information sources and the IFS Excel adding called Business Reporter or any other BI tool using our prepackaged tabular models. I will start with opening the report in full screen. In this example report, you can find some key measures like the total spend, number of suppliers, number of transactions. You can see the spend against agreements without any references, as well as trends for a certain level in the category structure. You can also drill down in the category structure, and if you select a node in the structure, all other elements are updated based on that selection. As mentioned, you can also drill down from the analysis report to the transactions in the application. So if I want to follow up on spend without any references, I can see an abnormal value in May and I can drill through to the details, finding the deviating value and from there go to the actual data in the application to follow up on the details. That is how our embedded solution for spend analysis looks in IFS Cloud. Thank you for watching and make sure that you subscribe to the IFS YouTube channel.